Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for the month of uh, September 2020. If you are a Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this reading is for you. If you're on the cusp of a, what's the last, Capricorn or a Pisces, you may want to watch their videos if you're on the cusp of one of those signs to see if they also resonate with you. All right, so keep in mind, again, as always, these are very general, so they're not going to apply to your story, not all of you. Um, so if you would like your own personal reading from me, my links are down below. Um, I had pre-shuffled for you. So uh, this side, I concentrated on you. And this is the person that you might be dealing with. Keep in mind, the, the energies can be interchangeable. So this might be you and this might be them. Or this is how they think about you and this is how you think about et cetera, et cetera, okay? If you are single, you might be coming from here and going to here, okay? Or this is the person that you end up meeting if you do meet somebody, okay? So let's begin. So the first card I pulled on your side is Opportunity Beckons. <laughs> so this is a card of boredom. Um, it's a card of disillusions, uh, being discouraged, having doubts, or, um, possibly being very lonely and looking for action, right? So um, I don't want to say you're desperate, but some of you are just kind of going with the flow. Maybe, you're, maybe you are in a relationship or marriage, but you're kind of feeling like as if there's no spark, there's no passion. Everything just feels routine, right? Um, and if you're single, you're just kind of like, w when is my love life going to start happening, you know? Um, Let's take a look at the letter and the dog. So the letter has to do with communications, documents, expressions of feelings, or expressing something, messages. Um, if you, maybe you're waiting for someone to contact you. Um, the dog is a friend. <laughs> it could be a boyfriend, it could be a third party, um, or it could be someone very loyal. Uh, I feel like when I have these two, this is either a message from a friend, so I feel like you're not with this person for a lot of you, um, or you might be, but this is a message of friend or messaging a friend. So like I said, a lover, it could be a friend with benefits. Like I said, it could be a third party. Um, so perhaps you're wanting this person to express loyalty to you. Maybe you want to talk. Here's, here's another meeting with both of these. Someone wants to talk about uh, commitment, right? Um, to be fair, the ring is usually like commitment, right? Or anchor. Um, but this is also loyalty, devotion. So maybe there needs to be a talk or you're waiting on that. Um, or you're wanting someone to be, you're trying to find or contact or you, you're waiting for someone to message you and you're wondering if they're loyal, right? Um, and the clover across from the letter, this shows wait, a waiting for an opportunity. Um, now, I have... Don't take this the wrong way, but sometimes I see these two as someone being on call. It's like that the clover is an opportunity. So it's almost like I'm here, I'm ready when you are, I'm ready, uh, when are you gonna contact? It's not really like waiting, but it's for, it's an opportunity, getting the chance to talk to someone. So this could be again, a third party or a friend, like someone that you're just getting to know. This, I'm gonna say this, this reading is way too obvious here. <laughs> I already want to go skip to the ending, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Literally, I'm telling you this reading could be about five minutes long. I already see what's everything tells me right here what's going on um, and here too, but I'm going to, you know. So again, the dog and letter can be that you're tired or is wanting this person to become loyal or sometimes nonverbal expressions of dependence. That's another meaning with these two or codependency. Okay. It's also a meaning of taking or receiving orders. So it's like, like I said, you're on call of this person or you're, uh, you're like, whenever you want me, I'm available. I hate to say the word desperate, like I said, but if this side is you, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing either the other person is your side man or side chick or you keep going back to a player or someone who isn't ready to fully commit. And here's why, okay? Um, 
I feel I feel like you're willing to act on your emotions with the moon and the ship, right? So it's like, uh, when, when is this going to start moving? Because you're 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 not. Even though it's not the heart card, the moon is a very emotional, intense, intense emotional card, and then we have the ship, which is a lot of changes, sudden things suddenly moving forward. Um. So like I said, with these two, it's like being ready and willing at any time the chance is presented to you. And that's okay, I, I, except I have this nagging feeling that you're, you might be doing it out of desperate measures. Again, this may be the other person, but whoever this side is, this person's like ready at any time. And maybe you don't really, uh, it's maybe you're not being desperate. You're just like, I'm ready to start this when you are. I'm ready to talk when you are. Are we going to talk about making these changes? I don't know if you live at a distance with someone. This could be a long distance relationship. Let's look at their side because this is what I really want to get to. Okay. <laughs> they have the card, spread your wings. <laughs> spread your wings. Okay. Obviously that means be wanting to be free. Okay. But what I'm picking up from the rest of this spread is more like spreading their legs. <laughs> They're ready to, <laughs> it's a shame on me, but, um, in all seriousness, this card, again, is about being freedom, you know, freedom, expansion, um, you know, feeling confined. That's why they need to spread their wings, okay? So this person may feel things are uh, maybe too constricting in their relationship if there is one. Again, you might be single and you're suddenly like bored and now you're like, I'm ready to open up to the world. I'm ready to spread my wings and fly and meet people, okay? But if this is someone uh, that, that you're dealing with, say this is not you going from here to here. Um, again, I said constricting to their relationship. They feel this way. And I said there because I'm seeing two women here. <laughs> so I'm t I have two Lenormand decks and I got two women on their side. Not only that, I got two fish cards. What does the fish represent? The fish is a card of a lot of, besides money and business and valuable, something valuable, it means a lot of something. And the woman card shows up twice, okay? We have the woman here and we have the woman here. And we also have two fish cards. So two fish cards, two women, you be the judge. <laughs> I think you know where this is going, but let me proceed, okay? So on top of all of this, the fox card is also here showing a possible trickster or manipulative person. And we have the star card, which is wishing, daydreaming, fantasies, manifesting. Uh, for some, you might have manifested too many people. Again, if you're single, you may be manifested too many people at once. It could be maybe just two people. Maybe it's not more than two people. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of people because the fish twice, that is a lot of something. And you have this side has two women. It could be a man, okay? The significator card is it's, it's more literal with the Lenormand. So if I get a woman card, I'm usually it usually means a woman. But again, take how it resonates because some of you this could be a man, okay? But the stars and fish. So let's look at these two right here. This is someone caught up in a lot of fantasies, or that this person is caught up too much with focusing maybe on their finances but I don't think it's only about finances. I mean, someone could be dealing with someone who they work with. Maybe this is this person is someone that you've worked with before in the past or you work with them now, or this is someone you meet at your work if you haven't met them. Um, but I'm mainly seeing uh, or sensing too many cooks in the kitchen, okay? And if you are dealing with another woman, then it's possible that this woman... Um, Maybe this woman has a lot of people around her. And for a few of you, this person, although I don't see secrets, there could be, I don't think this is gonna resonate with too many of you, but maybe this person is not being honest about their sexuality. And you know, I'm not, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but maybe this, I'm picking up, there is one story here that this person might be secretly in a same-sex relationship but doesn't tell anyone else about it. So maybe they're, they're, they're coming across as being straight, but they're not, they're, they're gay, right? Because sometimes that's what it means when you have two of the same genders, but that's only some meanings for some of you. And there's nothing wrong with being gay. I just mentioned that for, if you're dealing with someone that's telling you they're, they're straight, 
but they're not, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, that's one of the meanings. Okay. Again, there could be another woman involved or more than one woman involved. There could be three women involved, whether it's a, a, a same sex relationship or not. Um, but again, if, if you are dealing with a woman, she's not, she, I, she's not to be trusted. Again, this could be you thinking this about the other person. Um, maybe because this person is coming across as desperate. So let's say this is just an example. Let's say you're the woman and this is your side and you're dealing with a man and he's too ready and willing anytime you want him. And you're starting to think this like, oh, damn, he's easy. Well, that means he must be around all these other people or all he must have a ton of women if he's coming to me this is easily. Right. I, I mean, you know, that that could be something that crosses some of your mind. Um, I'm seeing more scenarios on this side though. Okay. So another message I'm getting is maybe this person buys people like prostitution, maybe, or maybe they go to the strip club a lot. Not that strip clubs are prostitution, but it does happen in those places. <laughs> or maybe you're dealing with a person who has, uh, there could be like two baby. I mean, again, this could be a man, but I'm just going to say the woman just to keep up with it. Okay. But for example, this could be like, let's say you're dealing with a man and this is his side and he's got, a few baby mamas, you know, mothers of his children, um, you know, and, or maybe you thought they weren't together. Maybe there's uh, more than two of them, or maybe there's just one, but there's two women in the, <laughs> and then you have this right here. Uh, maybe a woman's trying to sabotage your connection with this person. So maybe both of you, he, they're trying to spread their wings. You're waiting for the opportunity with them, but there, this is how I'm kind of seeing all of this go. You're waiting for an opportunity with this. If you're not single, you're waiting for an opportunity with this person right here. Like, okay, sorry. If you are single, but you're not together with this person, but you're, 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 you're waiting for an opportunity with this person, but this person's thinking about wanting to date a, 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 a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people. So I feel like you're not the only one on the, you're on their mind. I hate to give negative readings, but this is what I'm getting the most. Um, so the only reason I said there could be prostitution is because you do have the fish card, which is money. And I have it twice and I have the woman twice. But again, it could be something else. It could be uh, maybe they're just giving them, you know, if they have like uh, multiple children with or children with multiple women, maybe they're having to pay all these women, you know, dealing with child support, dealing with a lot of stress. Maybe they're dealing with a lot of stress. But again, I'm really seeing that you're waiting for this person or you're open to being available whenever this person wants you, but they, but you're not the only person on their mind. They're spreading their wings far and wide. Yeah. Um, again, if you're single, it's either you are just dating a lot of people because you're bored and lonely. And then there's nothing wrong with that. That's usually what people do, right? Like, Hey, okay. I'm tired of being single. I want to kind of go out there and mingle. I want to kind of get ready to meet people. Or maybe you just want to have fun. So, so you could be, you know, jumping in, <laughs> you know, Hey, th there's a lot of fish in the sea here, but for some of you, there's too much fish. Th there's too many fish in the sea. Just like I said, there's too many cooks in the kitchen <laughs> and the Fox is, is below the woman card here. So this is a woman who's overly cautious or suspicious or that she follows her own agenda. All right. I I'm also seeing issues about, um, this could be, maybe if you're married, let's say there's financial secrecy here. So maybe someone doesn't trust, this is just an example, like their wife with spending money or something, or she's hiding money. Uh, that, so if you're in a marriage and there's no cheating or other people involved, maybe there's issues with hiding money or, or I am seeing something about a woman helping a, I don't know if it's a family member, but maybe this woman is helping another woman out financially and she's needing to, I know this is, well, like, you know, I don't really see that, but that's, that could be something. I mean, that could be one of the meanings here. This woman's secretly uh, paying for stuff like a, you know, a financial ad shopping addiction, right? Opening up credit cards without telling her husband or vice versa. Maybe it's the man doing this to the woman. Um, on your side for the outcome, you have the letter in the ship, which is a, you know, it could be a long distance communication or to talk about someone's, here's the thing. This could be talking about someone's inability to settle down. Mm hmm. Which makes sense since the other person wants to, um, <laughs> spread their wings <laughs> or like I said before, spread their legs far and wide. No, sorry. 
<laughs> I'm not judging you, Anna. Shame on me, sorry. Okay, now for some, maybe this means you're ex you're trying to explain to the other person that you want to be free. Okay, here's another storyline. Maybe you're the one that wants to get out of this relationship to date or see other people. So again, if you even if you're not single, let's say this is you, but you're not single whether you're married or with someone, you are kind of like, I want to be free. How am I going to explain this to someone? Because there's someone else, there's another opportunity here and I want to spread my wings. Or you could be dealing with a spouse that is, uh, you know, going through this. So, because someone feels confined and someone's feeling really bored and desperate. So it's like, once you communicated this to them, or if that happens, then they all of a sudden think, here's another thing. It's like, maybe you start, when I was talking about you want to be free, this could be you saying, I want my freedom. You want to talk about this. Or maybe some of you are trying to tell this person that you want to be in a relationship with them. You're wondering when, when will this change? But whatever happens, it's like, then all of a sudden you think, or maybe, accuse, or maybe they accuse you of being a cheater or believe that you've had multiple partners just because you feel or express something to them about feeling very stuck in this relationship or that you are unfulfilled emotionally, right? Um, maybe what I'm getting on this side is there's a lot of he said, she said, or women gossiping about well, whatever's happening in that now that's sparking this suspicion with the fox being here. I mean, it, there could be many different other storylines I didn't bring up that's going on, but for the most part, I hate to stick on to the negative one, but that's really what I'm getting from this is that someone's desperate waiting on the other person and the other person is just out. You're not the only one on their mind. Okay. On their outcome, they get the stork and fox. So which is kind of like a conflict between trust and suspicion. They're not sure what to think, or this is not sure what to do. And if we look at under the deck here, we have the scythe card. Okay, the scythe is pain. Uh, it could be physical or emotional pain. Uh, the scythe is something suddenly or getting cutting off someone, cutting something is cut off or su sudden. Okay, we have the garden and we have the key. Stars again. We have the crossroads. So someone's trying to make a decision. Hmm. The garden is other people, social media. The key is being very open or trying to find a solution to a problem. And this is making a decision, wishing to, hoping to, having faith, having trust. So someone's... So there may be an issue that plays out where uh, someone shuts everybody out until they decide what they're going to do. And for some of you, someone gets outed like copped out because the scythe and garden um, can represent making a breakup public. Like one of you announces your breakup or divorce on social media or like, hey, this guy's a cheater. It may not be, uh, you know, it, it, that's not the only meaning, by the way. It may not really, this is not always posting everything on social media. This could just be outing someone. Something comes out and there's confrontation here. Okay. Even if it's not made public, that's just, it's just the garden is known to be about the media or public, right? And the key and crossroads together shows hesitation about a choice. So there's like hesitation about a choice here. Somebody wants to make a choice, but they're, the key's good. Again, it's about solving problems or discovering something. Maybe that's what it is. Someone discovers something through other people or something on social media, and then they're like, screw this. I'm gonna pretty much cut you out of my life. Now, not all of you are gonna break up though. Okay, so the scythe doesn't always mean cutting someone out of your life. It just means maybe someone is caught, you know? So I feel that this is to be continued because either someone doesn't yet know who or what they want. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So until there's a decision to be made, I feel like, again, I hate to say this, but someone's ready and available. Again, for some of you, you're single and you're jumping into the dating game, but you maybe you get caught up in dating a few many people and then let, let, let this is an example. Let's say you're a guy and you're single, you're bored. You're like, I'm going to start dating. So you jump in, you start dating multiple women. This is just an example. And, um, and then the other women find out and you're labeled as a cheater, even though you weren't really cheating, you were just dating multiple people. You were just casually dating. You haven't committed to anyone. So to be fair, some of you might get accused, um, 
you know, like a uh, false accusation. So it wasn't your fault. You were just, hey, I'm dating. I haven't chosen who I yet want. Or maybe you don't want to settle down, but, but someone maybe falls in love with you and then they take it personally, right? So that's basically what I have here. I'm going to leave it here as that. I hope that helped resonate. Very sorry if it didn't. Um, but again, if you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below. I will see you guys on my next video.